Health care centers are being overwhelmed by new patients, forcing facilities to make tough decisions. Some of them are even telling patients to go elsewhere, saying that they can't help them. It is not just emergency rooms we're talking about. Even urgent cares and doctor's offices say they simply cannot keep up with all the demand. Jasmine Arenas is your reporter in Denver and digs into what's behind this worrying trend. Due to an insurmountable amount of unpaid care costs, Denver Health is having to make some changes like cut salary increases, turn patients away, and close beds. With Arctic winds bringing in sub-zero temps through the weekend, the emergency care unit at Denver Health expects to be busier than ever. Then we're definitely feeling the strain uh, with uh, all of the uncompensated care we've always provided and this influx of newcomers. Um, who have a lot of unmet medical needs. Though Denver Health serves as a safety net hospital for thousands, right now they've hit a breaking point, especially in their emergency care unit, serving thousands of undocumented patients. There's only so much that a hospital like Denver Health can handle, and adding an additional 8,000 patients um, who can't afford um, to help pay for the health care has created a huge financial stress for Denver Health. That financial stress has led the hospital to take drastic measures, such as closing beds to stay afloat. According to CEO of Denver Health, Dr. Donna Lynn. We have at Denver Health uh, 78 inpatient beds that we devote to other, all, su all substance use disorders as well as mental health. We've actually, as I mentioned, we've closed about between 15 and 20 of them because we simply um, can't do it financially. In the last year, the hospital lost over $135 million in uncompensated care, a quarter of that cost coming from non-Denver residents. While I have tremendous compassion for what's going on, it's heartbreaking, it's going to break Denver Health in a way that we didn't even anticipate. Well, we, we, need, we need financial support to provide the needed care for this population. The hope is they'll receive funding to cover the funding gap. But as of now, that doesn't seem likely. In Denver, Jasmine Arenas covering Colorado First. And Jasmine is your reporter for all things happening in Denver. When you have a story idea, we hope you'll send it her way through CBSColorado.com. And you can always call our tip line. This just in, we're now learning just how much.